Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World. In today's lecture, we will discuss about common salt, sodium hydroxide and washing soda. First, we will discuss about common salt. The common salt is a white powder which is used in preparing food, especially vegetables and pulses etc. Common salt is also known as just salt. And the chemical name of common salt is sodium chloride that is NaCl. Common salt or sodium chloride is a neutral salt. Sodium chloride can be made in the laboratory by the combination of sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Sodium hydroxide which is aqueous when it reacts with hydrochloric acid sodium chloride and water this is water is liquid and sodium chloride is also aqueous so this is sodium chloride Sodium chloride is made in the laboratory in this way. The sodium chloride solution formed here can be evaporated to obtain solid sodium chloride. But sodium chloride is never made in this way on a large scale. So how sodium chloride or common salt is obtained? Common salt or sodium chloride occurs naturally in sea water and as rock salt. Common salt occurs in dissolved form in sea water. On the other hand, common salt occurs in solid form as rock salt. So first, common salt from sea water. Sea water contains many dissolved salts in it. The major salt present in sea water is common salt or sodium chloride. So common salt is obtained from sea water by the process of evaporation. So how evaporation is done? Sea water is trapped in a large shallow pools and allowed to stand there. The sun's heat evaporates the water slowly and common salt is left behind. This common salt which is obtained in this way is impure because it has some other salts mixed in it. It is purified to obtain pure common salt or sodium chloride. The huge quantities of common salt required by industries come from seawater. The second point is common salt from underground deposits. Underground deposits of common salt are found in many parts of the world. The large crystals of common salt found in underground deposits are called rock salt. Rock salt is usually brown due to the presence of impurities in it. Rock salt is mined from the underground deposits just like coal. The rock salt which we dig out today from the earth was formed when the ancient seas dried up by evaporation thousands of years ago. Now uses of common salt. Common salt is used as a raw material for making a large number of useful chemicals in industries such as sodium hydroxide, sodium carbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate, hydrochloric acid and hydrogen, chlorine and sodium metal. Common salt is used in cooking food. It improves the flavors of food. Sodium chloride is required by our body for the working of nervous system. The movement of muscles and the production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach for the digestion of food. The third use is common salt is used as a preservative in pickles and in curing meat and fish. Fourth use is common salt is used in the manufacturing of soap 
and common salt is also used to melt ice which collects on the roads during winter in cold countries. So these are the uses of common salt. Now sodium hydroxide. As we have discussed that common salt is a raw material for making many chemicals. So now we will discuss some chemicals which are obtained from common salt or we can say in which common salt is used as a raw material. First sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is commonly known as caustic soda. The chemical formula of caustic soda or sodium hydroxide is NaOH. The method of production. The raw material for producing sodium hydroxide is sodium chloride or common salt. Sodium hydroxide is produced by the electrolysis of a concentrated aqueous solution of sodium chloride. The chemical reaction is written as when electricity is passed through a concentrated solution of sodium chloride it decomposes to form sodium hydroxide, chlorine and hydrogen. So we can see in the chemical reaction that sodium chloride is reacting with water and electricity is passed through it. Sodium hydroxide and chlorine and hydrogen are formed. During electrolysis, chlorine gas is produced at the anode and hydrogen gas is produced at the cathode. Sodium hydroxide solution is formed near the cathode. As the products of electrolysis of sodium chloride solution, chlorine, hydrogen and sodium hydroxide are collected and stored separately. And the process of electrolysis of sodium chloride solution is called chloralkali process because of the products form. Chlor for chlorine, alkali for sodium hydroxides. Now uses of sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is used for making soaps and detergents. Sodium hydroxide is also used for making artificial textile fibers. Third use is sodium hydroxide is used in the manufacture of paper. Next sodium hydroxide is used in the purification fine bauxite ore from which aluminium metal is extracted. The fifth use is sodium hydroxide is used in degreasing metals, oil refining and making dyes and bleaches. Now uses of chlorine. Chlorine is used to sterilize drinking water supply and the water in swimming pools. This is because chlorine is a disinfectant. It kills germs like bacteria present in water and makes it safe. Second use is it is used in the production of bleaching powder and it is also used in the production of hydrochloric acid. Chlorine is used to make plastics such as polyvinyl chloride, PVC, pesticides, chlorofluorocarbons, chloroform, carbon tetrachloride, paints and dye stuffs. The fifth use is chlorine is used for making solvents for dry cleaning. Now uses of hydrogen. Hydrogen is used in the hydrogenation of oils to obtain solid fats called vegetable ghee. The second use is hydrogen is used in the production of hydrochloric acid. The third use is hydrogen is used to make ammonia for fertilizer. It is also used to make methanol and liquid hydrogen is used as a fuel for rockets. Now uses of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is used for cleaning iron sheets before galvanization. 
HCl is also used in the preparation of chloride such as ammonium chloride. Hydrochloric acid is used in medicines and cosmetics. Hydrochloric acid is used in textile, dyeing and tanning industries. HCl is also used in making plastics like polyvinyl chloride. Now the two products of chlor alkali process sodium hydroxide and chlorine combine together to produce another chemical called sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is a bleaching agent which is used in making household bleaches and for bleaching fabrics. And the chemical formula is NaClO. Washing soda. Washing soda is sodium carbonate containing 10 molecules of water of crystallization. That is, washing soda is sodium carbonate decahydrate and its chemical formula is Na2CO3.10H2O. Sodium carbonate, which does not contain any water of crystallization, is called anhydrous sodium carbonate, that is Na2CO3. Anhydrous sodium carbonate is commonly known as soda ash. Production of washing soda. Washing soda is produced from sodium chloride in three steps. And what are those three steps? The first step the first step a cold and concentrated solution of sodium chloride sodium chloride is reacted with ammonia that is NH3 and carbon dioxide along with water to obtain sodium hydrogen carbonate NaHCO3 sodium hydrogen carbonate and NH4Cl is also produced. This is ammonium chloride. Now sodium hydrogen carbonate is formed. It is slightly soluble in water so it precipitates out as a solid. Now in the next step what happens? This is our second step. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is separated by filtration. Then it is dried and heated. As we know that it is precipitated out. On heating, sodium hydrogen carbonate decomposes to form sodium carbonate. When heat is applied to it, sodium carbon Na2CO3 that is sodium carbonate along with CO2 and is produced. The anhydrous sodium carbonate obtained here is called soda ash. This Na2CO3 is called soda ash or sodium carbonate is its chemical name. Now the third step is anhydrous sodium carbonate or soda ash is dissolved in water. Na2CO3 is dissolved in water and recrystallized 
to get washing soda crystals containing 10 molecules of water of crystallization and it was CO3 dot 10 H2O this is sodium carbonate decahydrate or in simple words it is washing soda so these are the three steps in which washing soda is produced now properties of washing soda washing soda is a transparent crystalline solid it is one of the few metal carbonates which are soluble in water the solution of washing soda in water is alkaline which turns red litmus to blue now detergent properties or cleansing properties washing soda has detergent properties or cleansing properties because it can remove dirt and grease from dirty clothes etc washing soda attacks dirt and grease to form water soluble products which are then washed away on rinsing with water now the uses of washing soda or sodium carbonate sodium carbonate or washing soda is used as cleansing agent for domestic purposes like washing clothes in fact sodium carbonate is a component of many dry soap powders it is also used for removing permanent hardness of water it is used in the manufacture of glass soap and paper it is also used in the manufacture of sodium compounds such as borax. Thanks for watching Adipedia wall videos.